the University of Florida uh, College of Law in the United States. And I have been teaching uh, clinical legal education for 44 years. Uh, I have done some work in Southeast Asia with Maxi CLA. Uh, I have done uh, work with the University of Economics and Law in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, with the National University in Vientiane, Laos. And now here, I'm working with Mullumwai uh, University Law School in uh, Mullumwai, Myanmar. Well, I've been inspired by the work that CLE is doing around this region. Uh, I have devoted my career to CLE, and uh, the work that is being done to instill uh, knowledge of and abilities to participate in social justice work uh, with law students throughout the region has been an inspiration to me. So, Anytime I get the opportunity to contribute to that, I usually take it if it works with my schedule. Well, it's very similar in many ways. Uh, it's a nice blend of practice, a lot of small group discussion, a lot of role plays. Uh, you can see a lot of learning happening in a short period of time. You can see students developing more confidence in their speaking abilities, in their thinking abilities, and you can see a lot of growth in their skills and in their knowledge. Well, um, not really. Uh, the students I've worked with throughout the region have been very engaged and very willing to participate. And certainly the students here in, here in Myanmar manifest those qualities uh, very dramatically. I've been impressed with the English speaking abilities uh, generally that I've seen. I think the one thing that differs um, here that I haven't seen as much before is at the, not at the student level, but at the teaching team level. There are a lot more teachers uh, interested in CLA and interested in working together. And I'm the director of the Corporate Center for Education. Uh, that's why we are uh, <laughs> working together with the Pepsi CLE and uh, our university. So I'll support for that. Pepsi CLE, uh, especially the work for the event. Of course, uh, the students so, should have a practical, practical experience for the law. So that's why uh, we post that this training lecture in our university. So we are very happy to post this training workshop at Thanks, Marty. Um, I studied law at Sydney University in the 1960s. I started in a Sydney law firm in 1968. Um, most of my life I've practiced as an insurance lawyer. I've done other things outside of the firm. And within the firm I've been chairman of partners and managing partner, those things. In 2008, I retired as a partner and became a consultant. And since then, a large part of my time has been spent doing pro bono work within the firm, both for DLA Piper and for New Bruna, which is its North American-based uh, affiliate, which is a not-for-profit focused very much on a very special type of uh, pro bono work. My name is Jane Sanders. I'm a lawyer from Australia. I work in Sydney, which is Australia's largest city, and I run a legal service for homeless young people. Um, most days I go to court uh, and I do criminal cases, so I am appearing in court for young people who are charged with um, offences like theft, assault, uh, drugs, all sorts of things. Um, I've been doing that for about 20 years now. And it's a great job, I love it. I love working with young people. I love being in court. I like helping them um, sort out their legal problems. Well, when I got the opportunity, I thought, 
it would be great to come to Myanmar because I've never been here before. I have been to a lot of countries in Southeast Asia, but never Myanmar. So that was one reason. But I was very interested by the idea of working on a mock trial event. I have been a judge for mock trials in Australia at some universities and I really enjoy that. It's a way of working with young people, a bit different to the people I represent in court, but I also really enjoy working with students. And so I thought the chance to work with students and also to help them using my skills. So my skills as a lawyer in court every day I hope that I can um, help the students learn something about court procedure and uh, how to be a courtroom lawyer. The students have been great. Um, before the workshop I had already met some students from two of the universities and now I've met students from all 18 of them. They are really, I think you can hear them now, but they're very enthusiastic. Um, they really want to learn. They are preparing very well. They're working very hard um, for this mock trial. And they have been very easy to engage. I was worried that we might have a lot of shy students sitting there. Nobody, nobody saying anything, nobody asking uh, any questions, or answering any questions. But uh, they have been fantastic. And I think they're um, understanding about the law and about court procedure is really great for people who've probably never learned this before uh, and for people whose um, first language is not English. They've done all this in English and it's just amazing. I'm Professor Dr. University of Western Education. We brought uh, four students from them from the online students. We are the online students. My name is Moens. I'm a Chinese in my universities. I'm a Spanish student. I mean, law is one of the, one of the principles in the society. Uh, it needs uh, need justice for everyone. Okay. Uh, so I want to be the best advocate in my countries. In my, in, uh, in my countries, uh, otherwise. Hi, yes. My name is Alvin. I'm from University of Bologna, yes. second year law student. And I said this time is and when I make objection. I have a fun I was a, a long ago I have a little experience and I can now I attend I attend this program and I get a more and more, more experience and new friends I get it. Yes, my name is Latin Win. I am from Berlin University Digital Education. I am a year student. I am I get more experience and more idea. Our uh, my anxiety time is I'm in, in the more trials uh, when I'm when I am listening to what they are sharing and uh, I make it a friends. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a good question. I got a new experience that I that really support my life and I got a so cute friends from 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 the university or from different places. Uh, you know, it's really nice, and I want to. I want to. I would like to have more, more, more try in Myanmar to press play this. Uh, next, when I convert to when I when I convert to my university, I'm going to share what I got experience, and I'm, we are we are trying to to do like more trials in our university. I got many experience uh, uh, when I participated in this event because I I can introduce uh, all the students from the many state of Myanmar and then I I can learn the, from the foreigner and I got many experience and knowledge. Yeah, yeah I don't think uh, only 
one can do it. Every, every student can participate and it's given the, the lower team. Maybe, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, in the more trial, I was participate. I get more new experience. I have more um, other general knowledge, and I get more friends. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I can go to my university. Yes. Uh, I can show. I can show my friends and other community. I can talk about uh, them. More time. But then, yes, about that. So my name is Kaumiaka, and I'm a third year student from Tokong University. Well, it is, yeah, it is the, it's a very exciting time for me, especially when I was um, doing the advocacy role in the mock trial, when in the pros pro prosecution team. Yes. Experience about the mock trial, it's a very good experience for me because, um, you know, like, it's, this is the very first time in Myanmar to conduct a mock trial uh, event in, um, in English, so I think it's a very good experience for me. Yes, in a way it changed because it's a very good opportunity for the students like us to learn about the clinical legal education. Um, in the future, I would like to um, continue my studies and I would like to be a legal professional in the future. Thank you. I'm very excited in this event. I'm a lawyer in the more trials. I have uh, I got many experience. Uh, I got. I got legal knowledge skills.